Today we are making baked zucchini, a delicious vegetarian meal. You may want to pause here for the ingredients and the preparation methods. Today we are going to make baked zucchini, which is a very delicious vegetarian dish. Let's have a look at the ingredients. We'll need one semi-sized uh, zucchini. Uh, you can use uh, a yellow color or a green color one. Today I'm using the green color one. Cut into small cubes. We'll need one medium or large size onions, chopped finely. We'll need two to three cloves of garlic, finely chopped. One large tomato, chopped. And um, to bind it all together, we'll have half a cup of uh, cheese. Uh, today I'm using mozzarella. Um, to flavor it, we've got a teaspoon of uh, dried herbs, uh, which, is, which is a mixture of uh, quite a few different herbs. Half a teaspoon of uh, smoked paprika powder. A little bit of uh, black pepper we'll need uh, also to bind it together uh, you can use a half a cup of uh, here I'm using semolina or you can actually use couscous as well or breadcrumbs uh, some salt and olive oil so what we're going to do right now first is to actually toast uh, semolina so that uh, it doesn't stick together as it cooks so we'll start by doing that so I've got my little pot uh, that's just heating up. Uh, I'm going to tip in my semolina, all of it. And uh, because this thing burns uh, easily, uh, I'm going to basically move it around as it roasts. Dry roast it. So once this is roasted, uh, we'll come back and have a look at it. So our semolina has been uh, dry roasting for a few minutes. Uh, you can see it's uh, a little bit smoking, uh, so that's good enough. Uh, turn off the heat. Okay, and now we'll fry the onions, and uh, we'll come back. So I'm heating up my little small pan here. I'm gonna add about um, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil, and uh, we'll let this heat up. So the first thing is I want to add in the, uh, the garlic just to uh, reduce the harshness of the garlic just uh, give it a stir around then uh, I'm going to just quickly add the onions as well Just gonna give it a quick stir because we are baking this. I don't need to cook this uh, through. Here, okay, I'm gonna add in just a tiny pinch of salt just to uh, flavor the onions. Alright, so this onions are looking good. I'm going to dip in the tomatoes right now. Just uh, give it a quick stir. Uh, we don't want to break the tomatoes down at the moment. It will break down in the oven. We are now going to add in our uh, dried herbs, paprika powder and black pepper powder. Just give it a quick stir. Okay. Okay. So this is good enough. We turn off the flame. Now we are gonna basically assemble our dish and uh, basically put into the oven. So we've got our zucchini. Uh, I'm gonna lightly salt this. Maybe a um, teaspoon of salt because. Uh, this vegetable is uh, not salty, it's not salted. Okay, so that's fine. 
Now what we're going to do is, we're going to add in like half of our semolina so that uh, this thing basically gets thick and cook and bind the uh, zucchini together as it releases the moisture I'm going to give it a stir Okay, and that's fine uh, remember that this will release moisture as it cooks and uh, I'm going to add in uh, our broken down onions and uh, tomato okay all of it Okay, so I'm just going to move this around and just to stir it in a little bit. Okay, so that looks quite good. Okay, now I'm going to add in or basically top the uh, dish with uh, the uh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, you can use parmesan if you like. gonna move the cheese around so that it becomes a, a good crust all right and I'm gonna sprinkle the balance uh, semolina lightly on top just to give it a bit of a crunch as it cooks And just a light sprinkle of salt just to give it a salty crust. Okay, that's good. And I'm just going to do a slight drizzle of olive oil on top. Oops. Remember that the vegetables are uh, fresh and uh, there's no oil in the vegetables. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go put this into the oven and bake this at about uh, 180 degrees for about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, once it's baked, uh, we'll come back and have a look at it. All right. So after 20 minutes in the oven, uh, I've just taken it out of the oven. You can hear how crispy the top is and it will it should be really creamy in the bottom because of uh, the cheese that we have added so as you can see if I do it out, pull it out the uh, courgettes or the zucchini it's uh, cooked and soft and um, this is a good dish um, to eat alone or with some bread or even with pasta so you can try this enjoy <laughs>